Hi, I'm Dr. Bala. I'm consultant obstetrician, gynecologist and infertility specialist. I'm based at Gyne Care Clinic at AECS Layout. So if you have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome is a very, very common problem these days. So it's become like one out of five women at the moment, they suffer with polycystic ovarian syndrome. So if you do get pregnant with that, the problem is you will have some hormonal imbalance. And that can sometimes lead on to first trimester miscarriage, which is miscarriage happening under the 12 weeks of pregnancy. So what we do is we try to give you some progesterone hormonal support, either in the form of tablets or in the form of injections or in the form of vaginal pastries. And secondly, there will be a situation which is uh, insulin resistance where you will be at very high risk of developing diabetes in pregnancy or in women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. All the more, uh, pregnancy hormones are all very uh, sugargenic and so any woman who is pregnant, particularly of Indian origin or Asian origin, is very high risk of developing diabetes in pregnancy and particularly if you are polycystic ovarian syndrome, you are at more high risk. So we would be screening for diabetes in pregnancy in your case. And most of the polycystic ovarian syndrome patients are on the overweight or on the obese side. So I would strongly recommend a balanced diet and also regular exercises because the, in pregnancy you tend to put on more weight and that again leads on to difficulty in monitoring the baby, difficulty in you carrying the pregnancy like you can suffer with the backache or um, other discomforts, pubic pain, all those things. So I would recommend to have well-balanced diet and regular exercises of 30 minutes of walking on a daily basis and also frequent monitoring for a sugar test as per your obstetrician's advice. To watch more videos from me, please subscribe to Dr. Circle.